current investment trends in Latin America, um, last year we saw around $13.9 billion invested in the clean energy sector in Latin America. And when I say clean energy, I mean everything from renewables, that is wind, solar, biofuels, biomass and waste, geothermal, marine and tidal, as well as um, energy smart technologies. Since Q4 2009, we began to notice two very important changes in terms of clean energy investment trends in the region. While historically the bulk of financial investments have had been flowing into Brazil, since Q4 2009, um, other countries, especially Mexico and Chile, have also begun to, to play an important part. In fact, virtually all growth from 2009 to 2010 were accounted for by countries other than Brazil. Another important change has been where the money has been going to in terms of sector. Historically, it has been driven by the biofuel sector in Brazil, but again, since Q4 2009, most of the new financial investments in projects, that is asset finance, has been going to the wind sector, not as much biofuels anymore. Biofuels has been attracting mostly merger and acquisitions, um, whereas new financial investments in terms of asset financing has been going into the wind sector. A big driver of um, the growth in wind in terms of both capacity deployment in, in the region has been um, the renewable energy tenders that um, Brazil has been experimenting with and other countries in the region as well. And it's interesting to see um, this as kind of the new policy, the policy mechanism of choice of Latin America to, to, to bring about renewable energy. Um, many countries are constrained with um, being able to, to, to subsidize um, the sector and so feed and tariffs as we see in Europe are not very widespread in the region. Latin American countries, particularly Brazil, Peru, Mexico and Argentina, have been experimenting with a new policy mechanism for bringing about renewable energies and that's the tender mechanism as opposed to feed and tariffs or renewable energy portfolio standards that we see in in both Europe and the United States. But this tender mechanism has proven effective in both bringing about new renewable energy capacity, but also, and maybe perhaps most importantly, in bringing down the cost, uh, the, the tariffs for um, wind energy, for example. In Brazil, we can compare tariffs fetched under the ProInfa scheme, which was an initial feed and tariff program, with tariffs fetched under last year's capacity renewable capacity auction.